Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is Mellow7 Gaming, and we are playing Between the Stars. We're headed down to the planet here so we can uh, end the Council of War um, with Vice Admiral Flynn and potentially maybe um, also do our delivery. Oh, we got a message here. Oh, we'll somebody somebody tried to get us in space here. All right. Uh, F1. Couple of them. Let's hit the... Let's try to be good on our weapons here. I still wasn't. Come on, come on. Count down, count down, count down. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, he's flipped over on us. Gotta get... Oh, there we go. Went back to the... I can't find him. I can't find him. There he is. Trying to lead him. We're not doing a very good job of that. Of course, we also have the missiles going out after him. Oh, I went too far. Weapons went into overheat. Oh, but the missiles got him. get the picture <laughs> let's do uh can we build a view oh there the flames went out never mind i wish the flames stayed in that's kind of an annoying bug targets neutralized crew we are out of danger uh let's spin back around what do we get sniper rifle and argonic laser cannon let's see what the heck that is um, hmm, 17 and 8, range, 11, 15, 16 something. I judge weapons based on how much they, how, how much they cost, All right? 8, 7, 7, 5, yeah. So those are six, 21, nice, 14, 11, 07, 11, 54. It looks like the 11, 07 is the cheap one. So that one's coming off, and the laser cannon's going on. Is this our first laser cannon? I think it is. Everything else is... I mean, we've had energy, but they're... They appear to be more kind of projectile energy. Yeah, there we go. And look at the missiles go off, too. That's cool. All right. Down to the planet we go. With our, our delivery of video games... It looks like there's two things there on Council of War, like there's something written underneath it. So hopefully that word written underneath it is delivery. Somebody else try to jump us? Nope. You descend to the ship's dining room full of energy. Despite everything that's happened over the past few weeks, you're feeling exceptionally well. For the first time in a while, the hours of sleep have become especially restorative. You enter the room with a spring in your step. Inside, some of the crew say hi, it's while Taylor is serving the trays with the rations. Surprised, you stare at a dish of dehydrated protein that looks much better than usual. It's probably due to hunger, but as soon as you swallow the first spoonful, you can feel a clear improvement. Congratulations, Taylor. That's the first time the proteins don't taste like cardboard. we got levels up here, too, I just noticed. Um, we have changed the protein brand, Captain. There were none of the usual brand left at the last warehouse Soong and I visited when resupplying the ship. We thought it wouldn't make much difference, but I'm glad you like them. We got fullness, so we gained more experience. Nice. From now on, we'll buy these. You catch yourself grabbing seconds. Food on a warship was not meant to be exceptionally good, providing uh, beyond providing all the necessary nutrients. Finding a non-perishable food source that also had more taste than wet paper had been a great find. As the crew speaks, you stay thoughtful until Soong addresses you, returning you back to reality. Uh, what is that, Captain? You look towards the direction Soong is looking at. You see an ancient tablet that you rescued from the abandoned ship just a few days ago on the table. Maybe one of your crew members could clarify what it is. I took it from the looter ship. Thought it might be valuable. I have no idea where it may have come from, but I know someone who might. An old partner of mine runs an antique shop in Aft Fort Melody. Maybe he could lend a hand. That got you curious. The tablet itself was not particularly remarkable, apart from its engravings and ancient appearance, but there was the possibility that it was much more valuable than it seemed. It was some lost treasure worth a fortune. Wouldn't hurt to know. All right, we'll make a visit. 
Let's spin the motors up again. Another 20 experience, and we got ourselves an extra little, uh... Gotta go to Muhu. All right, planet 4607. I don't know, can we get there? I mean, it was like 400 kilometers or something away when we started, so... It was a little bit of a slog down... Down into the gravity well. In we go. Oh, and it's going to be on the back side of the planet, probably, right? Yeah, that happened to me before, too. Look at that. That's pretty. Oh, I'm just having fun playing with the cameras. Oh, there we go. We were there for a second. All right, what do we got going on? Hopefully one of these is the delivery. We got three. We've got a headquarters. We've got ad tech office delivery address. It's going to take care of that. Uh, you make the delivery of the space video game merchandising without instant. Customer thanks you and bid you farewell. 758 credits. That actually played pretty well. All right. Military installation. Uh, and then this one is the hangar. I don't think we can... Whoops. It's, it's, it's inverted for how you spin the thing, and I always get it confused. Let's go to the headquarters then. All right. Enter the headquarters for the first time. It leaves you quite surprised. Most of your military training had taken place at the Tacit Stella Barracks, a stark contrast to the sophistication you see before you. Captains and other military officials are all heading for the immense hall where the meeting is about to take place. This is, the only, this is only the beginning. Even though the attack by the Children of the Sun had caught the... <laughs> at work, I'm working on a project where we're going to have a local muralist design a wrap for the trailer of the mobile fab lab that I run. And uh, that muralist's studio is called Heyo Stella... He, excuse my Spanish. Uh, Heyo... Heyo? Heyo del Sol? Children of the Sun? Heyo del Sol? I'm not actually sure of the pronunciation, but it's Children of the Sun in Spanish. So apparently the bad guys are Children of the Sun in the game. I, I just didn't catch that until just today. Or until just now, actually. Um, anyway, the attack by the Children of the Sun had caught the Republic off guard. You're quick to gather yourself and get planning the counterattack. Head towards the Great Hall. The hall is gigantic. A large table in the background presides over the meeting with the rest of the captains. Over the meeting, while the rest of the captains are seated in their corresponding area. You're into, you enter your area, and after a few minutes, the council begins. After a few words to honor the hundreds of lives that have perished in the defense of the Tacit Stella, Vice Admiral Flynn addresses the hall. It's time to plan our next move. The Republic has been decimated. In these dark times, we need a firm hand to lead the counterattack. As a first step, the council has promoted me to Admiral. I promise not to disappoint you. I'll make the Children of the Sun pay for the assassination of Admiral Shao. The whispers among the crowd make it clear that the majority of captains had not been informed of the changes. The Interstellar Republic usually chooses its commanders democratically from among the captains in higher ranks. An election behind closed doors was not customary, but with war knocking on the door, emergency protocols had taken precedent. That the second in command would take, should take control seemed without doubt the most efficient way to start moving. What's the situation at Tacit Stella? The op meeting opens up to a forum. You ask permission to speak in order to find out what the situation of the old headquarters is. The sacrifice of Captain Scott and her crew managed to balance this battle. Only a handful of ships guard the destroyer Phoenix. Uh, the destroyer Phoenix, Admiral Naruto, Naruto's ship. The final attack was powerful enough to pierce their shields and leave the engines completely useless. Naruto's is unprotected. We must act as soon as possible. We have information that Admiral Nartos has left the ship to lead the space conquest, but if he thinks we won't act, he underestimates us. We'll finish the ship long before they expect it. However, we must be cautious. It could be one more trap from the children. It is possible they're waiting for us to take the bait and kill those of us who are left alive. Um, he's right, we must be certain. That's just nonsense. Waiting longer will reduce our chance of success. We're going all in. I understand your concern. Phoenix is a fearsome enemy and is at our mercy, but we do not know what Admiral Naruto has in store. An improvised attack would be sure to fail, fall directly into his ambush. I will not begin my command by sending my men into a death trap. It didn't make any sense. The Phoenix warship was an engineering masterpiece, a weapon of such stature that at any battle the children participated in was a decisive act victory. It had even been able to stop Genesis, the best warship of the Republic. If the Children of the Sun recovered it, it would certainly tip the scales. Listen to the rest of the hearing. 
Council concludes the gigantic hall quickly empties. Continued disagreement undermines your spirits. Far from consolidating as you, unit, you as a unit, the attack had divided you more than you thought. The various groups of captains positioned themselves on different sides, supporting the representatives they thought best qualified for the position of Admiral. As much as it bothered them to see Flynn as Admiral of the Republic, returning the blow to the children was much more important. After hours of debate, Flynn and the rest of the senior officials would start planning the assault. Even if you took your time to ensure the offensive was set up, the Republic would make the children pay for everything they had done. Go back to the ship. All right. Oh, I thought we were leaving, but we're not. You enter the headquarters to meet with Daryl Flynn, the newly appointed Fleet Admiral of the Interstellar Republic to update him on the state of the Genesis. The number of captains is much smaller than those seen in the Council. The delay until the attack at Tacit Stella was making you especially nervous. Waiting too long could have fatal consequences. Look for the Admiral. Ah, Captain Rapardo, good to see you. Captain Scott wouldn't stop talking about you even after she finished her training. She was sure you would go far. Her death has been a hard blow for us, and as I suppose you're aware, the young captains don't talk about anything else. Admiral Shao might have been the highest authority, but there was no captain more famous than the beloved Jane Scott. Um, that's what I want to talk to you about, Admiral. We found the Genesis. Flynn can't disguise the surprised look on his face. You explain the situation by mentioning the track you placed. Splendid work, Rapardo. Recovering the Genesis might give us some advantage. I'll need you to recover the Genesis. I will order two tow ships to accompany you, led by Dave Robinson. Uh, your mission will be to secure the ship's anchorage for its transport to the hard headquarters uh, docks. As you command, Admiral. All right. Uh, we've got a hangar here. Um, the ship... The places to buy ships, I'm told, is on planets as well. I read that somewhere. I don't remember where. Um... So we'll just have to, uh, like I say, we uh, we don't have the money for it right now regardless, so... Uh, we'll set off immediately. We will escort you to the ship and begin to dock, sir. Keep your eyes peeled. We could run into enemy ships in the sector. Understood, Captain. We'll keep the rear and jump once you confirm the coordinates. Roger. All right, how long have we been Crew going? We've been 13 Our current minutes. objective is to recover the Genesis. I'm going to run one mission and sell stuff and then we'll hop over to Muhu. We've got the antique shop uh, quest as well. So we can do that before we do the recovery. So let's do a suspicious activity in a cell. Then we'll do antique shop and recovery probably the next episode. I think one kind of big storyline uh, quest. I mean, I guess the antique shop's not a storyline, but the recovery is. I think per episode is probably good enough. And we do want, we don't want to not, um, oh, engines, somebody's tried to get us. We, we want to make sure that we continue working on our, Activate uh, the shields. Let's finish them off. See the one close? No, I'm just going here. We'll hit one. <laughs> and our traditional uh, overheat there. Nice, we're doing fine, we're doing fine. What's he down to, 64? We're getting a little bit beat up here though. What's he down to, 3%? Can we finish him? There we go, perfect. One of the enemy Photo. ships has been destroyed. Focus zone. We're going to go here. We're going to go far radius. We're going to take... Oh, it went out. I didn't go fast. We got some of it. We got some of it. I'm just going to keep trying until we get something. All right, where's the next one? Flames are still there. They just don't show up on the, on the the in the photo mode. I'm going to call that a bug. Yeah, we did well there. That was a good a good run. Yeah, destroying midships. Look at that. That's that. Hit the brakes. Start well the salvage done. operations. I send a damage report to my terminal immediately. Light plasma cannon bulletproof vest. Nice. And, uh... Where's the other one? Like guided missile, high quality. Is uh, what are the qualities on the ones we have? 
Uh, light guided, high quality, high quality, Mark II. This one is just a uh, Mark One. Okay. Fair enough. All right, let's head to the Allied station. It's not too far away. Maybe. <laughs> far enough, I guess. All right. Come on, let's slide into the station. We might have a little bit more. We might do the antique shop this mission, this episode too. That didn't take us very long. All right, I'm gonna do. Uh, I guess I can't hit I while we're in uh, warp mode. Comms chief, request permission to dock. Welcome, Captain. Dock at the assigned bay, please. All right. I want to check. Departments. Scrapping. We've got plate remains. We've got space garbage. We've got damage plate. Now I want to go back to engineering workshop. What did we take apart last time? I'm trying to look to see if there's anything different. I mean, this has the red border. Those got the blue borders and we still can't. <gasps> it's letting us make something. A laser interceptor. Um, can I cancel it? Yes. Could we make something else? Could we go all guided missile launchers? Light guided. What's the difference there? Okay, so let's me make that. Let's me make that. But not the red. Is blue just what we've unlocked? Is that what we have blueprints for? Then what is the stuff in red? Is this stuff maybe the ship is capable of building, but we don't have a blueprint for, whereas this stuff we do? Anti-air weapon defense, red, okay, again, that's meant to just destroy enemy missiles. So <clears throat> I wonder, could we research that? No. Is there anything to research? Nothing to research. Oh, we should probably check sick, we, sick bay. Anybody been injured yet? No. Okay. Crew members, any other level ups? Zoe. Uh, yeah, we'll just throw it in scrapping. Okay. Interesting. So we've, maybe we figured something out. Um, Let me see if I can figure out where the heck we're supposed to be driving. There we go. There we go. Oh, let's get right way up so we're we're oriented when we come in for the dock. Hmm. Okay. I thought the blue red was essentially just the same as it is when we're in our you know in our ship systems display, right? Um, and the shield generators and that sort of stuff are blue there, whereas red are the big guns. So I just assumed it was still the same, but it doesn't appear that way. Um, I suppose it could still be just a skill level that, you know, we've got us, our skill up to a certain point and it's unlocked some stuff. I don't know. What are we down to? 47%. Ooh, okay. Oops. Um, let's scoot this way. Um, it's nose down. Oh, no, not quite that much. And back up. Nope. <laughs> well, we'll just get our, we'll just point kind of, all my maneuvering was, was for nothing. 
I think we were close. There we go. And then flip it around. That was a horrible parking job. So you can parallel park perfectly all day long, and as soon as there's a passenger in the car, you just can't do it. Commercial zone, hangar, not much going on today. Let's go to the commercial zone. Um, radar quality. Uh, address, Dr. Chaos. The gay -y. okay. Um, it doesn't say where this one is. You know, we'll grab these just because we can. Um, I'm kind of wondering about selling all the rest of this. What do we've got? Light plasma, rocket launch system. I'm guessing the rocket launchers are just not guided. They don't do any shield damage. So I think I'll avoid them for the moment. I guess that doesn't either. Hmm. Nice. That's a good boost to our accuracy. I wonder. Um, no, we're going to save our money. We're up to about 8,000. Yeah, I'm just going to start to sell these things. Except. 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 Um. Yeah. You know what? We, we've got a. We've done okay. We've done reasonable. That's a pretty good chunk of cash for us. We'll do a quick repair. And off we go. Uh, let's go. Oh, now what do we got going on? Skyline Apartments. Oh, really? That's all we had to go with that? Start looking at the numbers. From afar, you've seen the number that corresponds with the package. Ordered by a man who goes by Dr. Chaos. You ring the bell and a small slit opens the door. Stupid mortal, who dares to disturb the one and only Dr. Chaos? Um. Um, Dr. Chaos? That's me, Dr. Chaos, scourge of evil and women's platonic lover. My story goes back a few years. When I was young, I went to eat dinner close to the asteroid field. What a disgusting feeling that was, knowing that my viper fish tongue sandwich didn't have any mustard. Since then, I've dedicated my heart and soul to the disruption of this Imperium Imperial and unfair system, a system that pushes you to the deepest and demanding you to climb over the corpses of your comrades just to subsist. A clear example of how rotten this society is. Um, do you want the magazines or not? Hey, you good for nothing courier. Nobody dares talk to that. Talk like that to Dr. Chaos. My vengeance will be terrible. Your blood will be spilled among the stars. You can already hear the war engines of the spaceship flying swiftly at the arrival of their leader. Wayland's mother. Waylon, what's all that noise? Nothing, mother. Someone got the wrong address. The door slit closes, the door opens slightly. All right, just give me the package and leave, please. If my mother comes in and sees the magazine, she'll get pissed. Um, all right. <laughs> Wayland sighs the delivery note and laughs like a maniac. Without paying too much attention, you turn around and head towards the dock. You haven't walked 20 steps and you already hear his mom screaming. Robo erotic magazine package. Let's go back to the spaceship. All right, that was an easy quest. Yeah. Um, and the bounty hunters are here. Do we go ahead and... 25 minutes. We got five minutes to go kill some bounty hunters. Five minutes. We'll see how that goes. Since they're here... Let's make some money. I mean, we could have 20 grand um, they are jamming our engines, reasonably Captain. quickly. Congratulations, you've made it onto my blacklist. All right. Who wants some? How about you? Yeah, look at all that. Not a bad first run. There he goes, there he goes. One of the enemy ships has been destroyed. Let's rotate. Spin back around. We're 
already into his armor. Into the hall. He's under 50% hall left. Of course, we're having trouble seeing him. Exposure. Contrast. Take picture. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to keep trying. We'll see if we get anything. All right. There we go. Great job, crew. We did it. We get oh, a shield generator normal, sniper rifle, rifle, repair kit. Well, that's we got a lot on that one. How about this one? Can we get good stuff there too? Healing plasma, some more space garbage. Take it. I will take it. What do we get? Let's go ahead and go to departments and scrap. We'll hang on to that for a moment. Um, do we want another shield generator Mark One? Um, I've got a Mark Two and a Mark Three, and then the Ion. No, I think we're okay. So let's go ahead. How much does it sell for? Five seventy-three. Um, I mean, there's a chance we get a blueprint for it. We don't have one now. It's not worth that much. Let's go. Let's give it a go. Can I? Oh, it's not gonna. Oh, there we go. That's pull it from the right spot there. Nothing to research. Okay, there we go. We'll see what happens there. Um. But yeah, that is. Uh, where are we supposed to go now? Oh, is there more bounty? Oh no, we didn't even get to the bounty hunters yet. That was just people that jumped us in the middle of nowhere to give us free stuff. Fair enough. Let's see if we can get there. I was looking at the time, I'm like, we're close to it. All right. Oh, not quite. We didn't quite make it to 100 kilometers before somebody jumped us. Oh, no. Uh, Taylor enters addressing you. Sir, I brought the re reports requested. Without looking away from your terminal, you respond without too much enthusiasm. Uh, all right, I'll look at him right now. You don't hear an answer. You look over your shoulder and you see a crew member standing, completely still as he caressed the old tablet. You wouldn't know how to explain the why, but that didn't sell with you. Uh, I'd appreciate you not touch my thanks. Crew member looks at you. The rest of the crew I noticed lately that you seem to keep the tablet always near you. Tell me, what's so special about it? Um, that's what I'm trying to find out. Maybe I could help you. Let me take it for a while. Maybe I could find out more about it, my precious. Without a word, you approach him and raise your hands with the intention of taking the tablet, and suddenly Taylor grabs one of your wrists firmly. Come on, Captain, I'm sure I can help you. Um, release me at once, Taylor. Crew, missions, crew member's expression changes and I let you go right away. I'm sorry, Captain, it's not my intention. I'll overlook it, Taylor. You've been under a lot of stress lately, but do something like that again, and I assure you you'll never serve on a ship again for the rest of your life. Yes, Captain, I assure you I did not mean to. All right, get back to work. Um, now we're exhausted. Crew member exits the room, and you take a few minutes to calm down. You knew, Taylor, or at least you thought you did. The disrespect shown towards you had left you completely out of place. As you keep pacing around, your eyes keep squinting, and you start to feel the accumulation of sleep deprivation. Now we gain less experience. We were gaining more. Now we're gaining less. Okay. The precious is having its effect on us. Oh, take advantage of the comp. Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, can I can I change us? Not yet. It looks like we can take advantage of the calm to sleep. Can I? What happens if I just take you in the middle of something? Nothing. All right, we'll do this first, and then we'll do that. There's three of them. All right, we're coming in. We're gonna hit one. I don't know if we did any damage with that. It might be too far out. Our missiles aren't there yet either. Are they gonna start to get there soon? Yeah, I don't know what does that. We clearly weren't firing long enough to uh, get heat there. 
Hey, we still... There we go. We finally started to do some damage to that dude. There we go. There we go. We're getting there. Come on, heat. Go down. Go down. I didn't realize we'd overheated. And we are getting beat up this time. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's over here. 34. I was on the wrong dude. So we get back to the shields. There we go. Through the shields. Through the shields. Let's finish him. There we go. There we go. Nice. Nice. We are getting beat up, but we're about to flip in. There we go. There we go. There's one. There's our overheat from it. Come on, come on, come on. Give me my guns back. There we go. Somebody go up a level. Is that what the little pop-up was down there? I just saw it go away. I didn't see it pop up. Come on. There's the missiles. Got him. All right. Let's get into this guy's, uh, get into this guy's hall here. He's at zero? <laughs> I thought he was done. We're down to 24% haul. We are in. We're hurting. We are out of danger. Uh, out of danger. My Oh, look at that. Look at all the submachine guns. If we ever get combat again. Light plasma cannon superior. Uh, and high quality. Good. We got some good stuff. Whoops. Did we not grab it all? All right, what I shall do then is I am going to head back. Oh, here, let's do the U. Let's rest real fast. Last few days, you need to rest to get back on track. Let's do that. Um, long day, retire to cabin. You feel, your body feels exhausted after so many hours alert. You trigger the opening of the hatch with a touch panel. Move your uniform while preparing clothes the next day. You wrestle with the bed sheets for a while and finally fall asleep. You go back to the ship's dining room while uh, watching the lights on the walls. They blink over and over until they completely turn off after you pass. You've lo you're lost, and the path you've always followed seems confusing now. You run. You run as fast as you can in an endless hallway. You turn to the right to get out of that loop until you reach the dining room, which is completely empty. Where's the crew? You wonder while you hear my sound the alarm. You're under attack. You must return to the command bridge immediately. The doors don't open. There's no need to open them. You're already on the bridge. Who's sitting in your chair? The person turns around and smiles. The smile freezes your blood. You don't recognize the face, despite it being very familiar. Wait, of course you recognize the face. It's... You wake up soaked in sweat while May complains. Captain, you are more than half an hour late. The crew is waiting for you. I had a particularly strange dream. We still got exhausted. Oh, we lost it. Okay. You get dressed as fast as you can. Head to the deck to meet the crew who should be waiting for you. Run out of the cabin while you're still packing your uniform jacket and down the stairs to the work areas. Foul odor invades your senses as you get to the room. You are completely paralyzed as you watch your crew chatter in a trivial manner. Their faces are completely disfigured, forming a strange am amalgam of vivid colors that seem to change as they move. One of them is heading towards you, though you only recognize the crew member because of the badge on the uniform. Why did you do this to us, Captain? Wake up. You wake up in the darkness of your cabin, feeling quite upset. You immediately look at the time and realize with relief that you are still a couple hours left before you have to get up. You turn around again while you put your pillow back and dive back into your dreams. My wakes you up at the set time, and it takes you a while to figure out what's going on. You remember in a distant way the strange nightmares you had, but in spite of everything, the rest have been especially refreshing. You get to go back to the bridge. You get ready to go back to the bridge and get out of your cabin in high spirits, ready for a few days' work. And now we're veteran. Our crew members gain more XP. Go back to the bridge. All right, I am going to, in the episode right here, we're going to head back to the station. I'll go ahead and get repaired, hop into the next station, and then we will continue on with the missions in the next system uh, tomorrow. So thanks for watching, guys. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Cheers.